Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at exponents with common bases. We will be talking about multiplying exponents with common bases, and then division with common bases, and then we're going to be doing just a little bit of practice. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about what a base is with an exponent. An exponent has two parts, the base and the exponent. So 5 in this case is the base and 3 is our exponent. We would say this in many different ways, 5 to the power of 3 or a base of 5 with an exponent of 3. 3 is a special one, we could say 5 cubed as well. What this means is the base number 5 gets multiplied times itself three times. So 5 times 5 times 5. That's what the base is in an exponent. That's what an, how an exponent is expanded. So when you have a common base and you're multiplying exponents like this, 5 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 2, we could expand these out to being 5 times 5 times 5, that's 5 to the power of 3, times 5 times 5, which is 5 to the power of 2. And that works out to being 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, or in other words, 5 to the power of 5, right? Our base of 5 being raised to the power of 5. Now, you might notice something about this number 5, and that gives us our rule. The rule that we will use for multiplying when you have the same base is this. When you multiply and you have a common base, you have to have the common base, then you just add the exponents. So we don't have to expand it all out like this every time. We can just add 3 plus 2 is 5, leave the base the same, and change the exponent only. We're going to practice with this. Go ahead and try this one out. If you feel comfortable, try it out on your own. If you don't feel comfortable yet, just keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. But go ahead and practice with this one. 8 to the power of 2 times 8 to the power of 4. All right, welcome back. I hope you tried that out. You didn't have to expand it out, but you certainly could have. Um, but basically what we're doing, remember the rule is that you're just adding the exponents. So the way I'm going to write it is just 8 to the power of 2 plus 4. And 2 plus 4 is 6. So that gives us 8 to the power of 6. All right, were you able to do that? Maybe you had to write it out in expanded form, and that's fine too. But if you were able to just add the exponents, that probably saved you a little bit of time. So this is what we're practicing with. Now, the reason that we're practicing with this comes in play in our next practice question. With this one, we have an unknown value, x to the power of 7 times x to the power of 4. Try that one out. See if you can figure out the pattern for that one. And then uh, we'll start the video again in just a second. Hey, welcome back. Same thing as what we did before. It becomes x to the power of 7 plus 4, or in other words, x to the power of 11. Now, this makes sense. You can expand it out if you'd like. Um, this here would be x times itself seven times. So x times x times x times x times x times x times x. And then this one here is x times x times x times x four times. So we would have a big long string of x's that, that did add up to 11 of them. Or you can just add the exponent, save yourself having to um, make that, you know, big huge expansion. So that's how you work with multiplying. Remember, this only works when you have a common base and you're multiplying both numbers. It doesn't work if you're adding them, and it doesn't work if the bases are different. All right? It has to be a common base, and it has to be joined together by multiplication. Now let's talk about dividing. When you're dividing and you have two numbers that have the same base, and an exponent, like 10 to the power of 4 and 10 to the power of 2. You could expand this out. 10 to the power of 4 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. 10 to the power of 2 is 10 times 10. When you expand it out like this, you would cancel out anything that's exactly the same on the top and bottom because 10 divided by 10 is 1. 
10 divided by 10 is 1. So they basically cancel each other out, and you're left with just 10 times 10. Or in other words, 10 to the power of 2. Hmm. Here's the rule for dividing. When you are dividing and you have the common base, you can just subtract the exponents. So 4 minus 2. You take the numerator minus the denominator. 4 minus 2, and that leaves you with 2. So you keep the base the same, a base of 10, and you just subtract the exponents. Quick note on this. Um, in this lesson, we're only going to be dealing with positive exponents. So although this this uh, rule does work with negative exponents, we're not going to get into that. So for our purposes, the exponent of the numerator up here needs to be larger than the exponent of the denominator. And if you're making up your own practice questions, just make sure that the exponent of the numerator is larger than the exponent in the denominator and you'll be fine. Let's practice. I have 9 to the power of 5 divided by 9 to the power of 4. Go ahead and solve that. Pause the video and solve it. Hey, did you pause it? Did you solve it? What did you get? Well, the way I'm going to write this out is I'm just going to write the base number of 9 and then have the exponent from the numerator, 5, um, subtracting the exponent from the denominator. So 5 minus 4. That leaves me with 1. 9 to the power of 1 is 9. So again, the rule is up there. When you divide and you have a common base, you just subtract the exponent. Keep the base the same. In this case, 9 to the power of 1 is 9. So if you want to, you could expand this out. Do 9 to the power of 5. Expand that all out. 9 to the power of 4. Expand that all out. Do the division, and I bet you'll come up with the number 9 as your solution. So here is our rule again. Try it out with this one. 8 to the power of 9 divided by 8 to the power of 3. Pause the video. Try that one out. Come back for your full solution. Hey, spoiler alert. I'm about to give the full solution. If you haven't paused it, pause it. Do it. All right, here's the solution. I'm going to write the base number down. The base number is 8. And I'm going to have the exponent subtract. Again, the exponent from the numerator, or the exponent on the top, the 9, minus the exponent from the bottom, 3. 9 minus 3 gives us 6. And that's how you would solve this one. So it ends up being 8 to the power of 6. Now again, you could solve this out by expanding all of them, canceling them out, or multiplying them out and doing them all. But you have to learn the rule because we're going to be doing more complicated questions and you need to know the rule to be able to solve the next question. Here it is. a to the power of 15 divided by a to the power of 11. Pause the video. Try that one out. Welcome back. Our base is a. It's a subtraction question. 15 minus 11. 15 minus 11 should give you 4. So the final answer then is a to the power of 4. So this is pretty quick once you get the rule down. You don't have to expand things out. It saves an awful lot of time. However, you have to remember that this only works with common bases. So try it out. Practice, practice, practice. If the video was helpful, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and have a wonderful day.